and I'd be happy to share with you all the reasons why. Yeah, 25 seems like a good time and good, you know, everything has to come to an end. Jackson's economy, our shoulder season is built. The quilt shop is thriving. We're not gonna lose the quilt shop if we don't exist. We kind of started because we didn't want to lose our quilt shop. And so we have been, it's been a successful community development effort. Thank you all for helping us let the world know that Jackson Hole is a fabulous place to come to in, in, in any time of the year, but particularly in our shoulder season. I'm Liz Smith from Granby, Colorado, and this is maybe 23. I didn't know we were supposed to keep count. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Mauer from Warren, Texas, which is east northeast of uh, Houston, up in the Piney Woods, and this is my third year. I'm Beth Sarbuckle from Belfry, South Dakota, and I've come over 20 times. Thank you. Hi, I'm her daughter. This is my fourth year, and uh, those of you who may have uh, seen me here before, I always just get drunk here. I'm actually looking forward to it this year. <laughs> Quilt making is an American art form. It gives also women an opportunity to learn in a non-traditional setting. And everyone here takes these, uh, not just techniques, but life experience and learning from other women and seeing how quilt making has changed their lives back to our communities to teach or to share informally in our groups. Quilt making is such a big, uh, industry in America and around the world, but when you live where you're far away from major cities or where there might be quilt festivals, it's particularly important to have an opportunity to come and be able to study with people like Eli Sienkiewicz who travel here from far away and uh, make it possible for us to have the same kinds of opportunities and resources that people in bigger communities might have. I have found that it, it helped me personally as well as professionally to come to the classes here. Um, I enjoy the blocks I make. My, my children and a husband uh, admire my work, but not only my family, but friends started noticing the work I did, and then I was invited to teach at quilt stores where I lived because of the techniques that I had learned here. Um, Anchorage is a long ways away, and most of the women in my community cannot afford to come to Jackson, Wyoming. Some of them don't know where Jackson, Wyoming is, but I'm able to come down here and tell stories about what I learned in Jackson, share things that I learned, and talk about this area. Some of them have, have come to this um, Quilting in the Tetons because I talked about it so much, so they wanted to come see what I talked about. Every single time, even if it's something you've done before, you learn something that you didn't know no matter what class it is. Um, I've entered quilts over here, and I, ha I did win Best of Show last year with one of my quilts, which was really nice. So it's, been, it's a wonderful experience, and it has been a real addition, not only to this community, but it has mushroomed out in all of the communities around us, that people take the information back, and, and their communities have benefited. It was so much fun and there was a camaraderie and a spirit here that you don't get in a lot of quilt groups. And so every year I'd put in for having a condo over there in um, some place over there toward Teton Village. We got our condo and we came up here and we stayed up all night and sewed and got up in the next morning and came to classes. And it was fun to see familiar faces. It was fun to see um, people that we have met before. It's addicting to come to Jackson in the fall. And the community of people that I met here, um, you just can't wait to see them the next year. And um, we keep coming. Every time the air at all turns to fall, thoughts of Jackson are in our mind. Thoughts of quilting in the Tetons. Um, sometimes I take classes, uh, more often now I don't but I have to be here. I have to be at the reception and 
just touch base with all the coordinators and people over the years.